Good day, welcome to Endurance Room. Hope everyone's doing okay. About six months ago, I did a review of the Gorka 3, the Russian wind and mountain suit. I promised to do a follow-up review on it after I got some time in the suit, and here we are. I wore it through early spring, into the summer, and after it warmed up, I put it down until fall. During the spring and the summer, there's quite a bit of thorns in the areas that I was traveling. That's caused the only breakdown of the suit. The darker synthetic fabric over top of the canvas is very strong, but it's not completely puncture resistant. And some of the threads on the pants have started to poke out through. But other than that, everything's held up very well. I've only washed the suit one time in six months. You want to avoid frequently washing them or they'll begin to fade and get almost tan in color. You can find photos of Russian soldiers in Afghanistan and their suits are the color of sand. And I'm not sure if they started out that way or it was from repeatedly cleaning them and they just got bleached out. One of my favorite features on, on the suit, the jacket in particular, has been the hood. There's a cord and toggle in the back of the hood that allows you to cinch it up. It is awesome. It keeps your hat in place. Especially if you get longer hair, your hat starts shifting around, it gets messy quick. But having the hood be able to cinch down like that, it's a really great feature. There's also tip traps that are built into the pant legs of the Gorka 3 suits. There's this fine mesh cloth that fits into your boots. They'll crawl up your boots and get caught in this mesh and have nowhere to go. It's a really clever design. The suit is loose enough that you're able to put multiple layers. So you could do long johns and then sweatpants or maybe some wool pants, a hoodie, and even a jacket liner all underneath the Gorka suit. It lets you layer your clothing system for a variety of climates. The suits are not waterproof. They will get wet. Typically, when I was wearing the suit, I would just throw on my palatka and use that for rain protection over top of the suit. It works fantastic. I'd also add a field jacket liner to my bag as it got colder. It makes it appropriate for significantly cold weather. I think the Gorka would be ideal for extended stays in the woods. If you were going out for a few days at a time to even weeks, months, even a year, I'd grab the Gorka hands down. I really got inspired after seeing the TV show alone back in January. I found out they were auditioning for season seven and applied and that was why I bought the Gorka suit. I was planning on spending a lot of time outside in a harsh environment. A number of the contestants on that show had used the suit and I checked it out, looked into it, I had already been aware of the, the Palash Palaka for a while at that point. I'd been using it for a few months and the Gorka just seemed like an obvious choice and I haven't, I haven't looked back since I got it. A number of people have reached out regarding sizing for the suits. You want to go big. I am six foot two and I run anywhere between 190 to 210, usually around 200 pounds is what I sit at. I wear a 54.6. I believe 54 it has to do with the height, um, the overall size of the suit, and then the second number is like your girth or your body weight. I'm wearing a 54.6, but I imagine I could fit into a 52 or a 56, and I could probably wear a four, five, six, or if there's a seven, I could probably fit into any of those sizes. There's quite a bit of variability in the dimensions of the suit due to due to the elastic found at key places around the suit. You want the room. It'll let you add in further layers and it'll increase the amount of use you're gonna get out of it. I stand by my decision with the Gorka 3 over the Gorka 4. The Anorak is great, but if I had to have one, I would pick the 3 hands down because it lets you open it up and use it in warmer weather. How does the Gorka compare to the Swiss M70 jacket? I really, really enjoy them both. If I had to pick one over the other, I would go with the Gorka. There's definitely more cargo space and, and room for gear on the Swiss M70, but you know, depending on what you find, it's gonna be 20, 30, 40 years old. You can get a brand new Gorka for a hundred bucks. The Gorka hands down has the best hood of the two. 
Although the Swiss M70 has a very cool net that drops down over the face to camouflage yourself. So if you're trying to stay low profile, it's pretty slick. Well, there you have it. This is my nine month review of the Gorka 3. I stand by it, it's utterly fantastic. If anything happened to it, I would definitely be looking to replace it. It's really, really an awesome piece of gear. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you got any questions about this suit, drop me a comment. Hope everybody's well and I wish you all the very best.